future, I must say that it has been a great pleasure working with Adams and Pigney, who, who I have known for a while now. I am sure that Pigney is the best candidate for vice president of our country and that he is more than qualified for the job. He is a great military leader and has great experience doing so. Pigney, all, Pigney played a role in the signing and writing of the Constitution. This man is a great representative of his home state, South Carolina, as a member of the Continental Congress. I must tell you that he is the one of the youngest and yet most influential delegates on the Congress. He has been a patriot of our country through and through. Mr. Pinckney is a strong, strongly moral and intellectual man who is concerned with nothing more than the best interest of this country. I assure you that Charles Pinckney and John Adams as the two leaders of our country will be the best thing for us. And I just know that you all will make the right decision. I now present to you Mr. Charles Pinckney. John Adams was born in Massachusetts in 1735. Son of John Adams Sr., John Adams graduated from Harvard in 1735. He taught at Worcester and studied law in the office of Rufus Putnam. John Adams is impetuous, intense, courageous, and has devoted his life to the American cause. John Adams believes in just Adams just actions and he defended the uh, the British soldiers after the Boston Massacre. He was then elected in the House of Representatives with a vote of 418 to 118. John Adams was also a member of the Continental Congress and he was one of the writers of the Declaration of Independence. He was also a minister in negotiating a peace treaty with Britain. So, uh, he was vice president of the Board of Washington. I just like to start by saying that I vote for the Federalist Party myself and Charles Pinckney to vote for colonial unity because unlike Thomas Jefferson, we are the full support of a strong central government. And without this strong central unity, we could not have defeated the British and got our independence from Britain. We don't know that tyrant that is a couple thousand miles away. Our, most of our supporters, our most outspoken supporters, are also the people that started the revolution that got us free from Britain. We are in fully support of a national bank to help stabilize our national economy and pay off our national debt. This national, paying off our national debt will help our perspective, the French, the British, and all other international, co international countries that will tr tr trade with us and strengthen our economy. My opponent, Thomas Jefferson, will not support this national bank and not help and provide any solution to paying off our national debt and earning respect of our countries overseas. We, we support the big business and we support innovation for the future in factories and in the industry, which is going to in turn strengthen our economy and make it boom and make our country the best it can possibly be. We also expanded the, the size of the union by adding Vermont, Kentucky, and Tennessee into the union. We provide equal rights, we provide acts of uh, equal rights in court, make a quick and speedy trial, make sure everybody has a fair trial. Court, we, we are the, uh, the party that put in the, fed, put in the uh, act of the Bill of Rights. We wrote the Bill of Rights under our terms, under the Federalist terms. We, we, so we put down the Whiskey Rebellion. And we have the power to be able to put down the wish vote. Vote for the Federalist Party, and you'll vote for colonial unity, and a better, strong, more central government, and a better nation. Thank you.